I think I think it depends on on what the captain and the coach uh, instructs him to do in the middle. The other day I saw him play an innings against Chennai, which Lucknow won. I thought he was exceptional. He played well at the top of the order and did exactly that was required to uh, required to do at that moment. So I think it's the as I said, uh, it's about playing freely and playing without fear. That is a must in T20 cricket. And and I hope uh, Rahul and and Rohit uh, finds a method method of playing T20 cricket because players like Virat. Rohit, Rishab, Rahul, you know, who else is in the middle order? Surya. Surya. Look at Surya. Surya, Hardik, uh, then Shivam Dubey of Chennai. Just exceptional talent. That six-hitting ability is 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 for all of them is enormous, and I think that's the way they should they should play. Just hit. It is, but I'm sure the selectors are matured enough to see over a period of time, not just one IPL, but two, three, two, three, four IPLs. Like someone like Shivam Dubey, he did it last year also. You gave him a chance against for India, he whacked it there also. So they've done it over a period of time. Rishabh Pant, Dubey, like Surya, Surya, huh? Like they picked a Varun Chakravarti or Aishal performance for a World Cup and India. Yeah. Played so he played Aishal one game though. Yeah. He played one game though. So Sri Lanka, so if I'm not wrong, one game. So yeah. one game is not enough to judge anybody. So it's nothing about young and old. It's about good. It's about how good you are. And that is important for me. No, no cricket. How is Jimmy Anderson playing? Test cricket. Test cricket. But he's a fast bowler. He's a fast bowler at 41, playing Test cricket and bowling 30, 30 overs in in an innings in a Test match. So there is no hard and fast rule for anything. The only hard and fast rule is talent, ability, and performance. That is important. You look at Emmis Dhoni. He bats for two overs and hits four sixes. I would actually, I would actually want him to bat more, but just see how good he is. I'm sure, that, I'm sure there'll be a lot of young players in the side. There will be, a, there will be young talent in this team, and I see that. Obviously, it's not right for me to take names because the selectors are there. I'll, I'll, I see young players in the side, but mindset is important. Little bit, but good all-rounder still play, isn't it? Hardik Pandya is still playing. You look at Rashid; he's playing. He's in the eleven straight away. So good ones will always play. Um, you know, Glenn Maxwell played. Obviously, he's taken a bit of a break. So Mitch Marsh played for us, although he didn't get enough runs for us. But good ones will always be a part because they contribute either with the bat or with the ball. So, so I, I, I don't think it diminishes the all-rounder. But then you have the for average all-rounders, you have the option of bringing a better batsman and a better bowler. But for the good ones. They'll always find a place at the side. Some of them are still playing, as I said. Akshar plays for us. Jadija plays for Chennai. <coughs> Hardik plays for Mumbai. You name it, they all play. Uh, Nitish Reddy plays for Hyderabad. He's in the game straight away. Russell is in the game straight away. Narayan is in the game straight away. So it's not always the case. The majority good players still find a place in the eleven, and then the impact player comes in. So as I said, it's about being good. It's about how good you are.